Hello, everyone. Uh, greetings from Ankara. Even if we are not in Vienna, uh, it is still very nice to be presenting in this conference. Uh, my name is Gizem Umut Dogan, and uh, I'm working as an expert for Turkstat. Uh, today, I will be talking about how we managed to automatize the monthly updating of our business cycle tracer using R. As most of you are familiar with, uh, Business Cycle Tracer is a visual tool uh, that shows the current state of the economy. Uh, to be precise, uh, it shows the cyclical phase of a bunch of chosen indicators uh, that are thought to be representing the economy as a whole. Uh, as you see, each quadrant of the Business Cycle Tracer is a phase in the cyclical movement, depending on whether it is above or below the trend, uh, as well as decreasing or increasing. Uh, when we started constructing the business cycle for Turkey, uh, the first step was choosing the appropriate indicators representing uh, various aspects of the economy. Uh, and we depended on criteria such as the relationship with GDP, the consistency of this relationship in time, the, the nature and strength of the relationship and uh, its ability to catch the turning points of GDP. Uh, so, uh, we chose 14 indicators besides GDP, uh, which are published by Turkstat, Central Bank. And uh, most of the indicators were published monthly, uh, so we need to update the tracer every month. Concerning the business cycle tracer, we used to keep and carry out everything in Excel and uh, then transfer everything into a Java-based system, uh, which we inherited from uh, CBS. Uh, Statistics Office of uh, Netherlands uh, and uh, it consumed a lot of time. Uh, it was prone to human errors and uh, we couldn't change the visualization. So uh, we decided to take the matter into our hands and uh, replicate it and augmented our system uh, using R. Uh, so um, the process consists of uh, six steps. Uh, being the general preparation, uh, getting uh, the up-to-date data, processing cycle extraction, preparation for visualization, and uh, at last, the visualization parts. Uh, and uh, we used uh, Arvest, Lubridate, TempDSEC, Mfilter, Mass, uh, Deplier, ggplot, and animation libraries uh, in the process. So uh, let's proceed with each step in detail. Uh, in the first step, the folders to store the outcome uh, of the current period are created and uh, information about the series are read from an Excel table such as the name, type, start date of the series, etc. Then uh, based on this information, the up-to-date uh, data is scraped uh, from the web and our database and combined in a list. Um, each series uh, is then converted into a time series object uh, and in this part we use the start dates from the info table. Uh, some indicators are published quarterly, uh, so they are disaggregated using some regressors with uh, chovlin max log method. And again, some indicators are in current values, uh, so uh, they are deflated using CPI. Uh, when uh, all processing of the data is done, the script proceeds with creating a JDMetro input file and then a predefined JDMetro workspace is triggered to run uh, using Cruncher. Uh, the output of this step is the aggregated trend and cycle component of the series. And now uh, there is only one step uh, to extracting the cycle, uh, which is the Hodi press code filter adjusted to filter a cycle completing approximately uh, four years. Uh, then the script carries on uh, standardizing, scaling, and differencing the cycle component. It also computes the composite indicator as an average of all indicators uh, except the GDP. Um, depending uh, on the last observations, the color of the quadrant uh, is determined and recorded in a table to be used as the background uh, in the dashboard charts. So uh, now we are already in the last step, which is when the dashboard is created and the business cycle tracer is constructed. 
Here uh, you may see the, see the dashboard and the composite indicator in comparison with the uh, GDP cycle. Before I finish my presentation, uh, I would like to make a demo of the script. Uh, it takes less than two minutes to run from the start to finish. So uh, I will fast forward here. The script produces the BCT in uh, HTML format. Uh, here uh, you can see the month uh, and the speed can be controlled from here. Uh, of course, uh, the visualization and features can be developed further. Uh, there are many possibilities. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them as comments. And uh, thank you for watching.